countrymen and women of the Republic of Zambia. I hope and trust that what I'm reading on social media concerning the statement attributed to the Electoral Commission of Zambia over the Kabushi and Kwacha by-election is uh, fiction. I'm saying I hope what I'm reading on social media concerning the Kabushi and Kwacha by-election and a statement that has been issued by the Electoral Commission of Zambia, I hope it is fiction and fake. But if it is true that the Electoral Commission of Zambia has issued that statement that the by-election for Kabusha and Kwacha will go on on the 21st of October and that campaigns begin from today the 11th of October and ends on the 20, 20th of October. I hope this statement, countrymen, is fake and one of those uh, social media propagandas. But if it is true, if it is true, then seriously, countrymen, we've lost it. We've lost it because disregarding a court order in, in this fashion, with impunity, by a state department or a state agency, an institution of government cannot be tolerated. If indeed the Electoral Commission of Zambia can disregard the court order, stale of execution, an injunction issued by a court of competent jurisdiction, first the High Court, and also confirmed by the Court of Appeal. If indeed the Electoral Commission of Zambia has issued that statement, there are only two things that should be done. And let me not even say should that shall be done. And it's one, the Electoral Commission of Zambia, commissioners who have signed that statement must all be cited for contempt. The second thing is that all of them, the entire Electoral Commission of Zambia, the acting chief election officer, and all the commissioners must resign on moral grounds. Because you cannot be an election commission and disregard a court order with impunity just to try and please certain quarters of society, countrymen and women. When a country starts losing the rule of law, then that country becomes a banana republic. Once the country stops respecting the rule of law, that country becomes a banana republic. That's why I'm saying I hope and trust. I hope and trust that this statement is just a propaganda and a fake statement that not, must not be taken seriously. And I am waiting for a response of, you know, statement, official statement from the Electoral Commission of Zambia regarding this statement that is going around social media. But like I've said, if it is true that the Electoral Commission of Zambia has issued that statement, Countrymen and women Zambians, this is the time to rise and say, enough is enough. This is the time to rise up and speak out 
and say that we cannot allow Zambia to turn into a banana republic. We've existed since 1964 as a republic. And I think by and large, we have tried by all means to try and live within the confines of the rule of law. But this one, <laughs> there is no excuse. If the Electoral Commission of Zambia has said against the order of the court that the election shall go on on the 21st, how in the Electoral Commission of Zambia, it's even much still in Sony, a womb too. In Sony, a womb too. Hello, it's a carilla pansaka, Musumba award. It's a carilla pansaka, Musumba award. Queen Matthew Attila, Fiaubane, Fianco Serana, Leka. I have a lot of respect for Harris Munga. Who is one of the people that have signed uh, that document? That uh, that is alleged to have signed uh, uh, that document. I would say purported to have signed, because I can't believe that it can be true. <laughs> Even as I'm speaking, I can't believe it can be true. But if it is true, we are continue to be in the commission, as a commission, together with everybody, the acting chairperson, all the commissioners, and the acting chief electro, electro officer, you must all resign on moral grounds. And I can only urge the PF lawyers to quickly start contempt proceedings against these people. Apo tawala wana ule chalo. Ukuko wana ule chalo at its best. There is nobody who is above the law. Not even the president is above the law. And we must all strive to respect the constitution and respect the orders of the court. Mweba mwina nenga chakutila chile chine na mula ndate ama election will go on on 21st. And no. Now, Murufiani, Apakalamba, and you, all the Zambian people, and apology. And I can only appeal to you, but by tomorrow, please rescind that decision. If indeed, you have issued that statement. If he, if you have a statement, you will have a statement, you will have Uku tenenke shama fina mchilonda. Uku sula avantu kutila. We can do whatever we, 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 we wish to do. Na mwavantu walande shani. We are just going to do it. Awe bane. Ifi yo. My dear brother, my neighbor, Atoni Jeno. My dear brother, my neighbor, Atoni Jeno. You are a man of integrity. You have built your legal career and your your legal reputation over a long period of time and i don't think this is the way you can come and uh, destroy your name muri location solicitor general gentlemen you are the people that are representing the electoral commission of zambia on this matter which is before court Surely, can you allow that statement? Because if a statement like that has to, to, to be issued by the Electoral Commission of Zambia, obviously they must seek the guidance of the Attorney General. Did you or your office, the Attorney General Chambers, authorize that statement to be issued? If you did authorize, my dear brothers, also the best you can do is just also resign on moral grounds. This is a big insult to the collective intelligence of the Zambian people. I hope and trust that this statement is fake. But if this statement is true, 
One, as Zambians will not allow, and we should not allow the elections to go on on the 21st. Because Mutshwe Mbaba Tila Limbula Isansa Tadila Limbe Mishila. Limbule Sansa Tadila Limbe Mishila. Nga mwari leke sansa di alimbe mishila tamu akadinu kule. When a government starts making such mistakes and you want to keep quiet as Zambians, you are creating a narrative and you are creating, a, 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 you know, something that will be very, very difficult to come and fight in future. Iye na ya lasti, iye ya lasti. Kufika kulasti ukusula bena Zambia. That's why in Dela and Dela, I even want to repeat, I hope this statement is not true. If it is true, Bon Sefie, commission resign, chief electoral officer resign, attorney general resign, solicitor general resign. Even the minister of justice, Haimbe, if this is true, you are also supposed to resign on moral grounds. I hope and trust the president is not aware <laughs> that this has been done. My dear brother, if this is true and you are aware as president, take a step. Otherwise, the people of Zambia will lose confidence. Take a step, my dear brother. And you know, President Akainde Ichilem, to do the right thing, it's better to keep a good name than keep quiet over issues like this. Good night. God bless Zambia.